It's Cataract Coach, and today we're asking the question, which way should you rotate the IOL? Clockwise or counterclockwise? And the answer is, well, it depends. Here's a routine case with a torque lens, caps or bag being inflated with cohesive viscoelastic. And now when we put the lens in the eye, it's rolled up in its compact state. And in this state, where the two haptics are on top of the optic, it's very easy to rotate the lens in either direction. So here we can go inside and rotate it counterclockwise very easily. But now once the arms, the haptics unfold, they may get caught up in the equator of the caps or bag if we rotate continually counterclockwise. So now, removing viscoelastic, we're gonna end up collapsing the caps or bag down and the lens at this point will best rotate in the clockwise direction. And if you look carefully on the corner, you see the marks where I'm gonna try to align this lens. I initially rotated counterclockwise while the haptics were unfolded to go beyond those marks. And now I can just nudge the lens clockwise in this state where the capsule bag no longer has viscoelastic in it. So if the capsule bag is inflated with viscoelastic and the haptics are folded up, you can rotate either direction. But once you remove the viscoelastic and you collapse the capsule bag, and once the haptics have unfolded, you want to go only in the clockwise orientation. And that's to prevent the ends of the haptics from poking the capsule bag or getting stuck at the lens capsule bag equator. So keep these two little pearls in mind. And next time you have a case, remember, when in doubt, rotate clockwise. Counterclockwise is only when the haptics are folded and the eye is full of viscoelastic. Thanks for watching.